this is an extremely important moment. I'm going to have you run another query and you'll probably get this, but I'm actually setting you up for the one that you probably are not going to get, but you'll be able to really learn from it and say, Oh, I took something valuable, really valuable away. Now here's your challenge. I want you to select everything from the employee table. If the employee's salary is greater than the average salary. Bravo, you probably did this. What'd you say? Select everything from employee table where salary is greater than, open paren, select the average salary from employee table, close paren. That's how it's done. Great job. If you learn anything about subqueries from me, this is what I want you to take with you is the correlated subquery. At first, I didn't even know how to recognize them. But once I could recognize them and I understood how they worked, then I still needed more time to actually write them myself. But I've got about four different ways I'm going to show you, pushing you further each time until you're going to finally go, that's easy, Tom. So stay with me. If you've never done one of these before, I don't know that you're going to be able to get this, but give it your best shot and then I'll show you everything you need to know. Here is the question. I want you to select everything from the employee table. If the employee is making a greater salary than the average salary within their own department, use a subquery to do it and good luck. Here is your answer. It's called a correlated subquery. It should be pronounced co-related, but it's actually called correlated. Now, let's recognize it first. A correlated subquery is going to select everything from the employee table, and I give it an alias, such as EE, -E, where the salary is greater than, open paren, select the average salary from once again, the employee table as E, 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 E. So I've given it a different alias. I've got the top query. Now I've got the bottom query and I put the last where in where E, E dot depno is equal to E, 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 E dot depno. And this is absolutely going to build the result set correlated from ee.depno equals eeee.depno from the top query and the bottom query they're now correlated and that's how it knows to bring back all the people making greater than the average salary within their own depno that's your first look at a correlated subquery this lesson is brought to you by coughing data warehousing Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out CoughingDW.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.